Well, I hope you're doing well. Today's video is going to be my top three soft winter spice type of perfumes for autumn winter. So it's getting quite cold now and as you can tell, I've got my light on. It's just so dark outside at the moment and yeah, I feel like we're entering the colder uh, winter months very, very soon. So this is my first one that I wanted to speak to you about. This is Tom Ford Vigneault Fétal. This is Eau de Parfum. This one usually comes out during the winter periods just because it's more suitable for this time and because with these types of perfumes, especially this kind of one that goes quite thick during um, the winter, uh, sorry, it goes quite thin during the winter. It's quite thick during summer. It comes becomes very sickeningly sweet during summer and spring so I, I wouldn't really reach out for this one but this one is perfect during autumn and winter specifically winter I think autumn is too early to be using this one it needs to reach I reckon maybe like 10 degrees outside for it to be um, suitable to wear this perfume there's something about this one that just cuts through the cold and it smells wonderful a lot of perfumes during the winter might just be dulled down but this one doesn't dull down too much this one does last also on me the whole entire day um this is more gourmand leaning for sure but it's there's something nostalgic about this one for me i'm not entirely sure what it is or what note uh, screams the most for me but yeah this is such a great one to have it's such a gourmandy warm cozy winter perfume for sure the vanilla is the star of the show for this one um it's got a bunch of other notes i feel like i love a perfume with a complex um notes list so yeah this one's quite complex in notes but it's more of the warm um amber vanillic notes so if you want a great vanilla perfume for the winter i would recommend this one for sure then next, of course, you have a Zerge of Starlight. Starlight is such a uh, Christmassy perfume. This one I definitely wear during Christmas, the month of December, probably also November. This is such a great one. It just smells wonderful. I put a review of this one on my channel, um, I think within the past week. Uh, it's such a great perfume. It's just almond with the ber 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 <laughs> bergamot and... Um, the other Christmassy spices like the the cinnamon, the clove, it's just so, so soft, so warming. The spices in this aren't harsh. I think it's just softened out by the almond and the bergamot. I know it sounds like a strange combo to some, but I think you need to smell this to understand this. And I've got more information on this one in my previous YouTube video, so please do check that one out. I believe the title is Autumn-Winter 2023. Honest review Zerge of Starlight, so check that one out. This is a really great one to have. Okay, last but not least, we have um, Spice Band by Christian Dior. This is their Privé collection. This is such a great one to have. Not too soft. This, I think, is the harshest-ish one, but it's not really harsh. This one's just very... It's very luxurious. It's very classy. This is the one that you can wear on a very special occasion so vanilla vanille fatal by tom ford you can wear as a cozy scent at home or if you want to go out run errands a zerge of starlight the same thing but mostly at home zerge of starlight it gives such a cozy home feeling but spice blend is if you have an event to go to it's just got a bunch again of notes to it and it just smells so elegant so beautiful i believe i have a review of this one also on my channel not entirely sure but yes, this this is such an elegant, classy perfume. I've spoken a lot about this one on my channel. This is the 250ml bottle from back then when the prices were a little more realistic compared to now. Now everything has spiked up because of inflation. I'm hoping the prices do go down eventually, but I'm not entirely sure when. But yes, if you find this one for a great price, do make sure you give it a sniff first before buying it. This is such a great one. This one doesn't change on me. This one is somewhat linear, kind of. It just tones down a little bit. So it's somewhat linear um, because you do still get the same spices-ish. Well, at least I do until the end of the lifespan of this perfume when it's on me. This one also does a lot, have a long-lasting effect. Siage and projection of this one. Initially, when I first spray it for the first 
maybe one to three hours it projects and then it just kind of tones down. Doesn't become a skin scent ever. I don't think this one will ever be a skin scent because of the spicy notes and it really does project. So yes, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy this one and I'll see you all in my next. Take care to then. Bye-bye.